Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a new member of the circle. Um, I studied in Argentina for the last four months to do an abroad semester with my college in New York University, studying global public health and nutrition. I left in February um, with pretty much no knowledge of what I was getting myself into, no expectations, no nothing, but I did know one thing, that my family and friends told me I'd be drinking this magical drink called mate, and it stuck with me as a student of food to kind of discover why in the U.S. it was so um, normal to think of mate as part of Argentine culture. And so my first weekend in Argentina that I had off and free, my friends and I took a train to Tigre. We went to the Mate Museum, um, got a tour about the history of mate, how to prepare it, what to do, uh, um, how to drink it, how it's culturally in, uh, influenced by different countries. Um, and then I bought my first book right here, Gerba Mate, and I just started to become infatuated. I tried my first mate there. And I immediately loved it. My friends cringed by the bitterness, and for me, it was just, it was a taste of enjoyment. And I became infatuated. And I went home and I talked to my host mom about it, and it became a huge part of our relationship, and it started just to define my entire stay in Argentina. So everywhere I went, I would buy a different part of my mate set, starting in Uruguay, where I bought my first calabasa. And, and, um, Bambija, and then to when I went to the Cataracas, when I went to Iguazu, I bought my thermos and my other parts um, from Patagonia, from Mendoza, which are all in my apartment in New York. Happy where I am. But it just became something that that defined my entire trip. It was we would drink it at school in circles as a, a way to get to know the different students. And I was always the person preparing, educating, telling everyone how to make it what the tradition were, how to cure their mate. They were always taking my gerba to cure their mates, um, where they bought them, when they had them. We started drinking in the Spanish class every morning. And every time I went on a trip, which was almost every weekend to a different place, it became a tradition for my host mom to give me a little mate listo, to go a little ready to go cup that I could just drink on, my, on the plane on my travels. And it really became a big part of my life um, as a diabetic, it helped. I noticed it helped my sugar stay really, really steady. Started doing research into what the scientific um, properties of mate of gerba were that were helping with my sugars and, and how they could help health as a general. And then, as my semester started to wrap up, I had to do a Spanish presentation, and I chose to do it on mate. And a lot of my friends asked me like where they could where they could get gerba when they went back to the states, and it was a question I hadn't really thought about. Um, I knew I had all of the pieces of my set. I knew that I had access to, to drink it. Um, I had all the proper parts, but I didn't have the actual gerba. And so I started to do my re research, and I found myself on Circle of Drinks' website. Um, and I, I agreed with everything that, that Dave says in the mission statement, that it's a drink that can really cross cultural differences, sexual differences, um, race, ethnicity, everything it's it's a drink of trust because you are you are saying every time you drink it that I trust you I'm sharing that straw that we can drink from the same gourd um, so it really I really resonated with me and I emailed Dave and uh, to talk to him about what I could do to be part of the circle and we started to discuss how with my nutritional background as a nutrition student at NYU I could come in and, and help really educate the population, um, especially in the U.S., on on what benefits to your body it has to drink gerba daily, and so in the future you'll start to see more more videos on me on different nutritional facts and health benefits of this wonderful drink. Ciao. <laughs>